Welcome back everybody, Clint today with Classic Firearms here to talk about a much requested video. And this one's gonna be pretty fun because, well, it's also gonna be kind of questionable. Uh, not really, because flying with firearms is a topic that a lot of people are, have questions ab about. And sometimes it can be a little intimidating whenever you're walking into an airport with, I don't know, maybe tens of thousands of dollars worth of personal firearms, company firearms, whatever it might be, whatever your situation is. And you're walking past a bunch of signs that say no firearms past this point, right? And you're like, am I supposed to be doing this? And then you walk by the armed officers with a bunch of guns that you're not allowed to have anyway. And you're like, this should be fine. So I'm about to tell you how to legally fly with firearms in case you're going to a competition, a hunt, whatever it might be. And the case that I'm actually going to be showing you guys when I walk into the airport is a IMAX arms pistol case. This case uh, is one that we've, we've come across. We found a bunch of them and they, let's just say that they feel like really good quality. Granted, you've got um, uh, Pelican and a bunch of others that are out there that are also excellent quality, but for the price point that we're gonna find these IMAX arms cases at are, how do I say, much more affordable? Like, by a lot. So just look, look them up on the website. Anyway, so let's talk about this really quick. You, for American Airlines specifically, you do not have to actually notify them beforehand that you're flying with firearms. You just have to check in like you're checking in a regular baggage, but you need to declare at the counter, hey, I am flying with firearms. A lot of times, if you're already walking in with a Pelican case, dragging it behind you, whatever it might be, or any other type of hard case with locks on it, which we'll get into in just a moment, usually somebody says, oh, do you have firearms? And you can say yes, or just, hey, I'm gonna go check in if you don't feel like saying it out loud. Because at one point, do you remember that, Ryan? We were coming up the escalator, I think it was at Charlotte Douglas. We had three 50 cows with us, actually. And uh, it was, excuse me, are those firearms? Miss, lower your, your voice. voice. <laughs> As everybody does this number, it's a little intimidating. So, yes, ma'am. We'll make our way to the counter. We know where to go. This isn't our first rodeo. We've flown a lot with firearms. So anyway, okay, great. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about packaging because one thing that we all know is <sighs> airlines are not, I, they're, they're not, they don't take care of your stuff. Put it that way. I have actually had four consecutive flights where they have broken the locks on my different cases and that really upset me because I have to buy to replace them every single time. And if you tell them, hey, lock broke, it fell off, whatever, they're just gonna say, we're not responsible and it's up to you. Great, thanks. Anyway, so let's talk about packaging up your firearms first. Uh, again, in the IMAX arms case here, you'll notice we've got two latches right up front, push in, open up. And I've got a bunch of Glock and Sig boys in here that you're gonna see are neatly tucked away. Magazines in every single magazine slot, pistols in every single pistol slot. And what's pretty cool about this case is it's got some decent modularity to it as well. Uh, one thing that I like about having the pre-cut foam like this is the fact that everything has its individual home. There's nothing, there's no metal on metal contact, guns, mags, accessories, they're not rubbing up against each other, which is a really nice thing. So it, it'll come just like this here. As you can see, it's pre-cut, but nothing's actually removed. Now, what's really cool about this is it's actually cut into sections. So if you want this whole section out and you just want this as a pocket to put stuff, things, med kit, whatever, then you can do that. In fact, and it is tight, but I can go ahead and reach in here and grab out that pre-cut section. Is this an ASMR channel? <laughs> Does it sound good to you? There we go. So again, all these have their individual cuts for magazines, pistols, whatever else it might be. But let's say you just don't need this much going with you, but you've got, I don't know, different things that are traveling with you. You have this whole pocket now that you can put stuff, things, whatever it might be. Keep in mind, if you're thinking about flying with ammunition, that's fine. But I at least know for American Airlines, Delta, and a few others, your, your ammunition cannot fly with your firearms. They can fly in two separate checked bags. The ammunition can fly, but it cannot fly on your check or on your carry-on, and it cannot fly with the firearm. So if you thought you were just gonna put a box of ammo in here, they're gonna tell you to take it out. It doesn't have to be in a locked container either, like your firearms have to be with a TSA approved lock. No, it can just be in your regular duffel bag that you're checking. As long as the ammo is separate and away from the firearms, you're good. 
Now keep in mind, I did just mention TSA locks. So whenever you actually have this gun or have this gun case loaded up, just like what you see right here, you're gonna see these cutouts right here. You're gonna need a TSA approved lock in this hole and also this hole. And I have had several TSA agents or at least uh, airline agents open up the case and try to get in there. And I've had some tell me that's not gonna work because I can get my hands in there. And I will argue with them and say, okay, now get the firearm. And they'll say, well, I can't. And I said, okay, great. I'll go ahead and check my bag now. And sometimes you'll get an argumentative agent. Sometimes you won't. Sometimes you can ask to see the manager and go full Karen on them, but do whatever you gotta do to get your, get your guns to fly. Great. But they will require TSA approved locks, not just master locks. I have flown with master locks before and that's when it gets kind of scary because they pull you into a room and they, they pretty much search your, your gun case right there in front of you. And then once it's approved that you don't have any type of explosive residue around the case, they'll lock it back up and then let you go and catch your flight. No big deal. But if you want it to make it a little bit easier on yourself, get TSA approved locks because either way, they are going to get into your case and they are going to go ahead and make sure they're gonna swab it. They're not gonna touch their individual guns or they shouldn't touch the individual guns, but they will actually take their device, roll it around the case itself, put it into the machine, and it'll give them a feedback about whether or not there's explosive residue in the case itself. And here's another tip I have to offer you guys. Another reason why I really love this, take a picture of it. Take a picture of it before you actually get onto the plane, before you get to the airport, before you even leave for the airport, get it packaged, have everything neat and organized. Take a picture of it so that way whenever you get to your destination, you open up your packaging and let's say something's missing and they say, hey, uh, that wasn't there. Oh, you're missing a magazine, you're missing an optic, a complete firearms missing. Sorry, that wasn't there whenever you gave it to us. Say, hey, here's the timestamp of the photo. Take a picture of it even actually at the agent, at the counter when you're checking in. Just say, hey, I just wanna take a picture of this. You see this, right? That way you have confirmation from everywhere that here's what I have in my case. And if any of it is missing, whenever I get there, yes, I will be filing a police report for stolen, lost, missing, firearm, whatever it might be. So there you have that. Another reason why I really like the cutouts that you see right here. Now, I do have an extended magazine in here. This is a 27 round uh, Glock mag. It can fit other mags as well, because remember this is a foam cushion and there's also foam within that insert down here. So you, if you are gonna be running with extended mags or anything like that, you can remove that foam to either be you know, a, uh, a shallow depth magazine or something like that. Or if you continue to push out, now it goes all the way through. I can see you guys. So that way this can sit a little bit deeper into the case as well. And yes, it will close and latch as you guys saw, because you know, I had it in there. Ready to rock and roll, put on your TSA approved locks, check into your flight, and then you're almost done. Once you have made sure once you've pretty much cleared all your firearms, got them inserted here, you're ultimately good to go. The only thing that they're gonna have you do once you get to the actual counter of whichever airline you're flying with, they're gonna have you sign a declaration that all firearms are unloaded. They will have you typically write down your flight number, your, your phone number, name, all that type of stuff. So that way if they need to get in touch with you, they can contact you, knock on wood. They've never had to contact me <laughs> and I've been flying pretty successfully. So all good on that front. Now what I'm about to do is actually package all this up, throw on my TSA approved locks. Again, all firearms have been cleared. No ammunition or in any of these magazines. All my ammo will be flying in one of my other checked bags. And let's head to the airport, get some uh, FPV footage of me checking in and hopefully everything goes without a hitch. Grab all this stuff. Stuff, man. Yeah, it's all good, dude. <laughs> I know it's a bunch. You got wheels on that thing? Or? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, right? Heavy. It is. <laughs> cool, man. Okay, and you're going at um, 848? That's correct. Okay, so I just need your identification. Yep. Yes, ma'am. That's 
how they stick it there. Yep. Oh, See it? Yep. And then I always ask, what's your phone number? 704. No, no ammo, not loaded. That's right. Yep. Now just waiting for my guns to come out of probably there to be delivered to the American Airlines office. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Yep, there you go. <laughs> you got it. Mm -hmm. uh, there they are. Yes. All right, great, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Now, let's just double check them. Okay, let's see how it looks in here. Got everything, good. So far, yes, ma'am, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep, looks good. Great. Now let's go home. And that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. So the real gist of flying with firearms is ultimately making sure that they are in a hard-sided case, they are unloaded, and you have TSA-approved locks that you secure your case with. Again, I used a case that we've got available now. This is the IMEX Arms case, which is has it's held up very well i'm very impressed with it and of course the cutouts and the different sections that you have available in this case if we've already talked about is just really impressive so imex arms did a really good job with this case especially for the price point that it is available at so don't miss out on the opportunity for one of these guys. If you have any questions below, feel free to tune in uh, to any of the live streams that we typically host on Mondays and Wednesdays. Wednesdays with Kaya, Mondays with me, typically in the evenings, East Coast time, sometimes around seven, give or take. And uh, feel free to ask questions there because we can definitely answer them, but also drop them down below in the comments section. Did this video help you out? Are you more comfortable flying with firearms? Or are there some specifics that maybe I missed and you want those questions answered? Let me know. But anyway, that's pretty much a wrap here. Make sure too that just ultimately any of the states that you're flying to, to reiterate this, uh, that your point of origin and your point of destination have well, the firearms that you're flying with are legal in both of those destinations. So don't want to get you hemmed up or any type of trouble like that. Anyway, so comment down below. Again, eh, these cases are waterproof, drop proof, all that type of stuff. Uh, maybe we can do a, uh, I don't know, maybe if you want to see a torture test, like maybe this versus a Pelican case or something like that, throwing it, dropping it. I mean, there's so many different things that, that we can do. You know, they're all in the same spot, so that's good. <laughs> anyway, there's that layout for you one more time in case you guys wanted to see it. Really impressed. And again, join us live streams Mondays, Wednesday nights. Comment down below your thoughts and any questions. Don't forget to head on over to cfcontest.com to see what we've got going on over there because it's always pretty freaking exciting. Anyway, guys, appreciate you all so much. Thank you for your viewership, your continued support, your business. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time at Classic Firearms.